Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, rather impromptu video that I wanted to make. Um, I wanted to go ahead and put this information out here before I begin my book reviews over the um, High Republic era novel book series um, going on and just wanted to um, basically compile a list of all of the books together um, and what's coming out just so that you know. Um, I personally had to like go through and solve all this because the website starwars.com has released the first kind of like wave um, and and there's more books coming and so I just kind of wanted to put them into order and give you guys a little bit of information about them on like um, what uh, like age range they're meant for and who they're written by and when they're coming out so um, that's what this video is just kind of a comprehensive guide over kind of the first section of the High Republic that has been announced so far um, so obviously the spearhead of the um, new era for books um, and story and Star Wars is uh, Light of the Jedi by Charles Soule and um, this is an adult novel it's obviously it's out right now and um, it's one I am currently reading I'll have a book review out for this one on Monday um, but that's the first book this is the one that's been probably um, uh, advertised the most in terms of the books being released right now um, and it's the spearhead it talks about the whole reason the whole like big catastrophe um, the other books kind of spawn off of that um, next is A Test of Courage by Justina Ireland, and this one is like a kid book. This is 8 to 12 years old, but it is a chapter book. Um, I will also be doing a review over this one, uh, because I think it is comprehensive enough to do a review. Um, I'm interested to know more about it. It also, again, comes off of this whole big catastrophe, um, that has happened that we see in The Light of the Jedi. The next book is The Great Jedi Rescue by Kevin Scott. Um, this one is a little kid's book. This is eight or five to eight years old. And basically this is like a, a soft, a paperback like picture book uh, detailing the first part of Light of the Jedi. So basically it's a, um, a visual guide, if you will. I mean, obviously it's meant for children and written for children, um, but it has pictures and, and visuals of what happens in part one. It also comes with stickers, which is cool. I have ordered this one because I'm curious to see how my uh, mind's eye interpreted these stories versus how they've illustrated them. That's the reason I've gotten this one. Um, but, you know, obviously buy at your own discrepancy. It is a child book. Um, and then they have two comic books out right now. We've got the Star Wars High Republic, which is just, I think, High Republic, the first comic by Kevin Scott. Um, I think Kevin Scott is more known to do maybe comic books. I'm not sure. We see his name twice, but that's kind of cool. Um, and then the other comic book is the... Um, the High Republic Adventures by Daniel Jose Older. Um, both of those are actually out right now. Um, I have not gotten a hold of those two, so I don't really know a whole lot about them. I do know that um, since Yoda's in, in this uh, time period as well, I think his story kind of talks uh, is talked about more in the comic books. He's mentioned in the novels, um, but I think that he actually takes place in the comic books, so just keep that in mind. Um, and then for this first wave, the only other book, and it's not out quite yet, it releases February 2nd, is from Claudia Gray. It's called Into the Dark. And this is a YA book, so young adult. Um, the age range is technically 12 to 18 years, but like complete adults can read this book without issue. It's not little kiddish at all. Um, Claudia Gray is my favorite author for Star Wars so far, and so I'm really looking forward to this book. Um, it releases February 2nd. And you can actually sample all these books online, um, minus The Great Jedi Rescue, the little kid book by Kevin Scott. You can sample them um, on the online sampler through the Kindle and probably the Nook as well. Um, and that's actually how I, I started Light of the Jedi and Into the Dark. Um, that way you can also get a sample of the comics as well as the... Um, a Test of Courage by Justina Ireland. So that's it for the first wave. Um, and then there's a second wave that releases basically this summer. And for the books this summer, I don't know really anything about them and not a lot of information has been released. We have some uh, cover art basically and obviously release dates and authors. Um, so I can give you guys that. Uh, the first one releasing June 8th is called The Edge of Balance. And this is by, uh, like, this is like co-authored by uh, Shima Shinya. I hope I pronounced that right. I don't know. And Justina Ireland. Um, and this to me looks like some sort of manga, which is cool. I like that idea. It doesn't give me any information other than that. But that releases June 8th. And then we have, um, following that, Race to Crash Point Tower by Daniel Jose Older. Um, and this releases June 29th. And this is a kid book, ages 8 to 12. 
um, which I probably also will pick up if, um, if a test of courage is good and written well enough where I can like still enjoy reading it, even though it's like a, a younger kid book. Um, I'll pick that one up as well, but it's probably going to be the same style in terms of, you know, uh, age appropriateness. And then following that, we have The Rising Storm by Kevin Scott, June 29th. This is an adult book, and this is the second, I believe this is just the follow-up book to A Light of the Jedi, which is super cool. So we'll probably have the same character points of view, and obviously, again, the spearhead kind of for the books. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that one. So that's June 29th. And then we have um, the final one that they've released so far um, that comes out July 27th, so the very last one in the line. It's called Out of the Shadows by Justina Ireland. And this is, again, a young adult book, ages 12 to 18. And honestly, by the cover, it looks like a kid's book, to be honest. Um, the Claudia Gray's Into the Dark cover is much more um, mature looking than um, this Out of the Shadows cover. But again, I mean, I don't generally pick up YA books anymore, uh, but I will for Star Wars because Claudia Gray wrote Last Star or Lost Stars, excuse me. And that's like been my favorite Star Wars book. So I really enjoyed it, even though it is uh, based for supposedly a younger audience. Really, I don't see much difference between the adult writing and the um, young adult writing. It's just the kid books where it kind of varies. But anyways, that is the list of um, basically Star Wars books right now that are out for the High Republic. And this is kind of the first like first season, if you will. Um, I think that they're doing, I think they're going to continue this for many more years to come, which will be cool. It just fleshes out the basically Gilded Age of the Jedi Order. Um, it doesn't affect the Old Republic the Old Republic is, while not canon, it's legend, still has not been, you know, scrapped. So I know people were really mad about that when this um, set of books was coming out. But this is just a small space, a very small time period before we get the current Jedi Order that we see in the Skywalker Saga. So I'm totally good with it. But um, I hope this list helps some of you guys out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And again, on Monday, I'll have a review over The Light of the Jedi by Charles Soule. So thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.